back to another video if you're new here. My name is Satori Tannen and today I'm going to be showing you three really quick, easy, simple air fryer recipes that um, I think are really convenient for a college student or anyone who is in a rush a lot or just is very busy, which is a lot of people. So these three recipes I like to use a lot. I love using my air fryer and yeah, let's get right into it. So actually to start off, I have the Kasori air fryer. Um, I'm not sure what version it is, but it's a perfect size for me because I like doing smaller and larger um, meals in it and recipes with it. So it's perfect size. Just, these are sim like three simple snacks, basically, or things that you can take on the go or make in a couple minutes. So this first one, all you're gonna need is an apple and some cinnamon and then a knife to cut up the apple. So first, what you're gonna wanna do is just cut up, this can be any apple, you know, you can you can play around with these recipes basically. But, excuse me, this first one, you're just gonna take an apple and slice it into really thin slices, um, the best you can do. And this is like about how thin I like to make mine. Oh, I didn't really say what this recipe is. This first recipe is gonna be apple crisps or chips. So I'm basically taking this apple and turning it into little chips that you can just take on the go or have as a snack. I'll lay it out here on my cutting board. And then once they're thin enough for your liking, you can kind of cut them into whatever shape you like. But once you have that, cut that, you're just gonna take your cinnamon and basically put it however much you want and just kind of sprinkle it over the apples and if you'd like you can add just a little bit of sugar or um, maybe like a pumpkin spice or like allspice that's more of a fall flavor you know to spice it up no pun intended I have these little sheets that keep it clean in my air fryer or partially clean myself to clean it but these are just like pieces of parchment that really help. Um, and if you don't have these, you can just put parchment paper in there or wax paper or just um, do it without anything on the bottom. It just might be a little bit more messy, but this really isn't that big of a deal. So I just put this in the air fryer and then plop these in. And you're gonna wanna spread them out um, so they don't touch each other. All right, so I have all my apple pieces placed in here, and now we're just going to put it in. So what you're going to want to do is turn it on, and you can preheat it to 350. So you just click um, temperature, preheat, 350, and I had mine going to 350 before, but even if you don't have it preheated, it'll still work. You're going to set it to 350, and then change the time to... 10 minutes on and at halfway you're gonna open it and flip over the apples so at five minutes I'll come back so it's now it's now been five minutes I'm just gonna pause it open it oh look at them they're looking good and I'm now just going to flip each of one of these and put it back in for five more minutes all right so once you take the apples out they should look like this and you can let them cool for a little bit and then they should turn into these little apple crisps that you can take to go or just eat as a snack. They're so good and they're so fun. Really easy to make. And you can like scoop them in peanut butter, bring a little peanut butter along. And they literally taste like if you were to get dehydrated apples or like apple chips from a store. Now for our next recipe, we're gonna need some carrots some oil of some sort, doesn't matter. I'm using coconut oil. Any seasonings of your choice, such as salt and pepper, if you have that, if you have smoked paprika or sandwich sprinkle, it's just like a mixture. Or you could add, um, what is it called? Everything but the bagel seasoning. Any seasonings, but I recommend at least salt and pepper for this. And then, oh, I also have tahini. And then you want garlic, minced garlic. You can do like garlic powder or um, garlic salt if you don't have that. 
and you're just gonna need a bowl. So what you're gonna wanna do is take some of your carrots, however many you want. I'm just gonna be doing a couple for the sake of this video, but this is a perfect snack that you can either take to go or have it on the side of a dinner or um, pack for lunch. All right, I just went and melted my coconut oil and you can really do this with any vegetable that you have. So, I mean, I obviously chose carrots because I like those a lot, but you can do broccoli, cauliflower, anything. Um, so you're just gonna take your oil of any sort and pour that on your carrots, vegetable, anything that you choose. And you're gonna want about like half, half a tablespoon to one tablespoon. Um, I'd say if you have like a half a cup of vegetables, you're gonna want about a half a tablespoon of oil per um, half cup. So you're just gonna kinda mix them around in that and then you're just gonna go and add your seasoning. So I like to just do a little bit of tahini. And for this, I don't really measure, but you could do about like a quarter of a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon of each seasoning. You know, just to your liking, I guess. For garlic, you're gonna wanna do about, oh, I should've got a spoon. But you know, sometimes us college students don't even have spoons. So if, or maybe you don't even have garlic, you can do garlic powder, but you're gonna do about a half of a teaspoon or about a teaspoon of garlic. I really like my garlic and I think it actually probably like a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic. Toss that in there. So now you're just going to stir it all around with your seasonings. You're all done and you're just gonna open the fire, pop them in. I'm gonna put them on the same parchment um, as before. And you're gonna want these also spread out many but you know you can do any size of vegetable amount for this anyways we're going to pop this in so for the carrots i like to go a little bit higher of a degree so we're going to set this to 400 and for 12 minutes and then i usually like to check it and sometimes i'll do 15 minutes but we will start with 12. Ooh, the carrots have just finished. My paper got a little, I've used it for both things. So this is what they should look like. They're looking crispy and done. So this is what your carrots should look like. And what I like to do is have them with a little bit of plain Greek yogurt. I know it sounds funny, but so good. Great side to any meal or just a little snack. And you can keep these in the fridge for however probably for like a week I'd say. I really recommend that little snack using the air fryer. Now for our third and final recipe, it's not even a recipe really, you're just gonna take four eggs, actually you can do four to seven about, and you're just gonna plop your eggs in the air fryer. And we're gonna make some hard boiled eggs. So what you're gonna wanna do is put them in at three, 170 degrees for 12 minutes and once you're done you're gonna have perfect hard-boiled eggs you can do it for a little bit less of time if you like soft-boiled eggs or just a little bit more of a runny yolk but this um, the 12 minutes should give you about a perfect yolk that's not too overdone all right we have a guest that has now joined us say hi Parker what's up guys <laughs> anyways our Hard-boiled eggs are done. So just 12 minutes at 270. And once they're done, you're gonna want to take them out, they're gonna be very hot, and place them in a bowl with some paper towel or just a napkin or something so they don't crack. And right away to, ah, ha. <laughs> right away to stop the cooking. What are you doing? Right away to stop the cooking, you're gonna place them like straight. Right. Yeah, that's nice. Isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Okay. Anyways, to stop you the cooking. Sit right now. <laughs> <I swear. laughs> to stop the cooking, 
You're gonna place them in the I bet fridge. It's gonna look a lot better and later. oh my goodness. You're gonna place them in the fridge and you can leave Same them in there for however long. Perfectly right now. Perfectly. There's shadows over the water. Can our guests leave for a moment? What? Anyways, so Are you telling me? No. Look at Mertz. Uh look at Curry, man. It might smell a little bit in your Sounds dorm room or whatever, wherever you're staying or in your house, but it'll go away quick. And you can leave these in your fridge for like up to a couple weeks and take them as a snack or have them as a breakfast or anything that you want. Put them on a salad. I love hard, hard boiled eggs. Parker, do you like them? Yeah, I actually can't wait until this video comes out because I'm definitely gonna use it in my air fryer because I, that'd be like perfect. Yeah, he has an air fryer too. Go get an air fryer if you don't have one yet. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you like these little snack ideas. I hope you try them out and comment down below if you want to see more air fryer recipes or videos because I like to use my air fryer a lot. Parker knows that. Anyways, I'll see you guys in another video. Deuces.